So in this video, we're gonna be doing something pretty cool. We're gonna be loading up Kali Linux on our phones, whether you are using an iPhone or you are using Android, this should work for both platforms. And it is really pretty simple to do. So if you ever get the desire to do some hacking or maybe some recon while you are out and about and you don't have your computer with you and you want to use your basic Kali Linux, then this is the video for you. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Okay, so the first thing we are gonna need to do is create a AWS account. So you can just type in AWS free tier and we can just click on really any of these should work and we'll just click create an account. So right here we are, we're going to create an account because we don't have one. We can say, what is our root user's email address going to be? I'm gonna go ahead and type in my email address and the account name that you want to use, I'm just going to use Kali9001, just like this. So we'll go ahead and be verify our email address. It should email you a code and then you'll just paste it in right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that code and paste it in. Once you have your code, you can go ahead and click verify and now we're going to go ahead and create a root password so you will create your password and we will click continue okay now we're going to be clicking we're going to be using this for a personal use so personal projects you're going to enter your full name my full name is no thanks i'm going to go ahead and fill out my address and then we'll click this continue and i have agreed to the terms and i'll see you on the next page okay now here is the part that everybody gets worried about so what i do is i go out to my local convenience store and i buy one of these right here this is a 25 dollar gift card i believe it even says right down here at the bottom it'll even say this is a gift card if you don't want to enter in your credit card or any information like that which i never do because i never know if these guys are going to randomly bill me for something i don't want to be billed for i just go ahead and load up 25 bucks on there it shouldn't ever charge you but that's what i do is i just go ahead and get one of these gift cards i keep one on hand i have used this i think this is the third time for something like this so i'll go ahead and enter in this information and then we'll hit down here verify and continue to the next steps all right so now it's time to confirm our identity i'm going to go with the text message i will enter in my mobile number and then have to solve this little capture right here then pretty straightforward we're going to click send the text message to us so i'm going to go ahead and fill this out and i'll see you on the next step all right we have made it to the final step we're going to use this basic support free this is what we want we are looking for the free so we're going to complete our sign up and then we're going to launch our first virtual machine with aws which is going to be our kali linux virtual machine so now we have congratulations we want to go to our console we want to sign in as the root user so we'll We'll go ahead and type in our email address that we used and we're going to sign in as the root user so we'll say next we're going to type in our password and we'll say sign in so we'll say don't save and it should bring us to our dashboard here I'll just click next get this out of my way done I don't want to see any of that done thank you okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna scroll down here to launch a virtual machine and we're gonna be looking for something very specific we're gonna come down to browse more AMI because what we want is to search this marketplace right here because we're looking for Kali Linux and it should pop up here for us and it is this first one we're going to select the first one we're going to say continue this is what we want all right once you have gone ahead and been brought to this page before we launch the instance down here we need to create a key pair so i'm going to go ahead and call this kali2 because i already have a kali set up so we can go ahead and save that right there and we're going to create the key right here so we're going to click create key and the key name is going to be kali2 just like this and we're going to click create key we're going to go ahead and save this file and then we're going to come over to the terminal and we're going to move the key i think it's right there and we're going to move it over to my desktop so we'll go home phd sec and then we want the desktop that should have moved it so we'll cd cd desktop and now if we ls we should have our key right here so there it is 
Now, this is where we're going to launch this from. Before we launch the instance, we're going to have to chmod, and we're going to have to change this to this Kali 2 right here, so that way we, this can be used for us. So we'll change the permissions there. Now we should be able to come back and launch our instance. This part actually might take a few minutes for your instance to launch, but once it does, what you're going to do is you're going to come back over here and you're going to click this instance right here and it'll take you back to all of your images. I already have one running as you're going to see in just a second, but I accidentally deleted the key. So we had to start it over. So right here, it says it's pending. I'm going to go ahead and click this one. Now that we have this copied, we're going to SSH. And so we'll come over here. We're going to type in SSH dash I, and we're going to use our key right here. And then we're going to log in as the user Kali, and we're going to paste in our IP address. And this should work for us. I hope our machine is running. Yes, we want to fingerprint and it looks like it is going to load for us. So it looks normal. But if you look at this right here, let me go ahead and make that bigger. Um, we have this Kali right here. And then if you look up here, we have a PhD sec two. So now we are officially logged in to our virtual machine in the cloud. So a few things that we're going to need to do before we can actually log in on our phones, we need to add another user because if we try to actually SSH, with a password, it's not going to work for us. So we're gonna actually have to make another user in order to SSH into there. I think AWS thought that they were gonna be sneaky and make it so we couldn't SSH in without this key right here, but there is a way around it. So that is what I'm about to show you. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is edit the SSH file so we can sudo nano, I think it's the Etsy, SSH, SSHD, and the config file right here. And we need to tell it that we want to be able to log in from a password. So that way we can log in without the SSH key. So let's come down here and we're gonna change this little no right here. We're gonna change that to yes. And we're gonna hit control X. We want to save it, yes, and enter. So there we go. Now that is set up for us and we are now able to log in with a password. And now we need to create a user that we wanna be able to log into. And actually before we do that, we need to restart this file. And that can be done by typing in sudo service SSH restart. And just for good measure, we might actually need to do a system CTL restart SSH. Uh, so we'll go ahead and run that as well, so just to make sure that we've covered all of our bases. So now it is time to add a user. So I'm gonna go sudo, and we're going to add user. I believe that is the command. And now you're gonna give it the new username that you wanna use. I'm just gonna use Kali2 because it's plain and simple. And what do we want this password to be? So you can go ahead and type in a password and I don't care about any of that information. So we'll just go ahead and hit yes. All that information looks great but we're also going to need to make this a pseudo user account so that way we can install things like nmap or other tools just in case we don't have them which by default we're not going to and the command you're going to need in order to make this a pseudo account is right here you're going to use sudo user mod dash ag sudo cali2 and run that and now that should be a pseudo user account and you can always check it by going Sue, and we're going to switch to Kali2, type in your password, and now we should be able to go sudo apt update, and if this is a sudo account, this should work for us, and it does, so now it is a sudo account. Now we're going to switch over to the cell phone, and we're going to go ahead and log in, and the app we're going to be using is Termius, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my phone and show you what this looks like. So here is the app that you want to download, Termius, we're going to create a new host, you will actually probably need to create an account. I already have an account, so I'm not gonna walk through the process of showing you how to do that. And I think the app is free, but you can pay extra for some other features, which I'm not gonna do because we don't need them. So our host name, this is going to be our IP address that we want to log into. So we want to 18.22136. So you're going to go ahead and type in your IP address for the instance that you created. We're going to scroll down to actually we need to create an alias for this. We're just going to call this Kali2 because that is going to be our username that we're going to log into. The username we're going to use is Kali2 and our password. So the password that you created. So at this point, this all looks good to me, I think. 
we should be able to go ahead and log in. So we'll hit save and we'll go ahead and tap on our little host that we created and it should connect for us. If we get any errors, we'll go ahead and troubleshoot those, but I think this is gonna work. And it looks like it is working. So you can go ahead and click continue. At this point, we're gonna see that we are authenticating and this should bring us to our Kali2 user. We will need to type in our password apparently one more time and then click connect. And we are brought to our dashboard here. So now if we want to run Nmap, we should be able to type in Nmap but it is going to tell us that it is not installed so we can go ahead and install it and type in sudo apt install in map and hit return type in our password and i apparently typed that in wrong so we'll go ahead and type in sudo apt install in map return and do we want to install nmap we can go ahead and hit yes enter and it will install nmap for us so now you can install all of your recon packages and do some hacking on the go just in case you forget your computer you will always have at kali linux here on your phone if you have any questions please let me know down below and i'll try to get to those thanks for watching